Well, Jane Ace, who is trying to borrow $100 from a loan company, can't find two people to sign the note for the loan. Friends turned her down everywhere yesterday. Mr. Race, however, who is borrowing $3,500 on his insurance to put over a real estate deal, negotiated his loan successfully. This episode takes place the following afternoon in alternating scenes between the Ace's bungalow and Mr. Ace's real estate office. But first to the bungalow where we find Jane and Laura the maid. Jane is on the phone. Listen. Hello, is uh, Mrs. Kralis there? Oh, it is? I didn't recognize your voice. This is Jane Ace. Yes, how are you? Oh, just fine. Uh, Mrs. Kralis, do you sign notes? Notes, you know, when you want to borrow money from a loan company and they give you a note to get two signers. Well, I thought if you... Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, well, I'm sorry, then. Yes, goodbye, then. Scratch her off, Laura. Yes, ma'am, I did. I could tell when you said, oh. Isn't this terrible? Of all the people I've called, you'd think one could sign a note. Mrs. Gentry is next on the list. South 8772. South 8772. Yes, ma'am. Um, how many more have I got there? Oh, six more, ma'am. Only six more? Have I used up so many of my friends already? Oh, what time is it, Laura? I haven't even done the marketing yet. Almost one o'clock, ma'am. Well, I better hurry and call these others. I've got to go to the grocery store, and I have to write in my budget book how much I spend. That's another thing that upset me. All of a sudden, the budget came out with a profit of $5 last week. Well, I declare. Yes, I was so surprised. I've been so busy trying to borrow this money to make my budget come out balanced, I didn't have time to spend any money, I guess. So I have a profit to upset me. When one thing goes wrong, everything goes wrong. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what is the matter with this number? Why doesn't it... Oh, uh, hello. Is that you, Harriet? This is Jane. Jane Ace. Yes. Oh, just fine. How are you? That What? Oh, I've been here all the time. No, we didn't go away this summer, did you? Oh, that was nice. I'll bet you did. I'll bet you do. I'll bet he does. Well, what I called you about... I bet you will. Uh, speaking of betting, Harriet... I wonder if you would sign a note for me to a loan company. I'm going to borrow $100, and I need two signers. A note for a loan company? Oh, what do you mean you can't hear me? I can hear you just as plain as if you're... Hello? Hello? Oh, we were cut off, I guess. Um, what was that number again, Laura? Mrs. Gentry, South 8772. S-O-8-7... Seven, two. I was just telling her about it, and she sounded so interested that she could only hear me, and I had to get cut off. Everything happens to me. Uh, hello, is that you, Harriet? I guess we were... Oh, the maid. Uh, let me talk to Mrs. Gentry, please. Why, well, I was just talking to her, and we were got cut off. How could she go out so quick? Oh, a taxi came, and she... Well, uh, thank you. Goodbye, then. I'll bet she did. She went out? I'll bet she did. I'll bet she heard me all the time. She just didn't want to sign it. That's what it was. That's friends for you. Scratch her off, Laura. Friends. Don't make me laugh. Oh, no, ma'am. Who's next? Who's the next one on that list, Laura? Oh, the next one is uh, uh, Mrs. Joyce, North 6523. North 6523. Just wait till she tells me she can't sign a note or has to run after a taxi. A person sure finds out who their friends are at a time like this. Oh, uh, Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson, will you come in here a minute, please? Yes, Mr. A. Oh, uh, Miss Wilson, I'm expecting a very important caller in just a few minutes. He phoned that he's on his way up. Yes, sir. Now, I positively don't want to be disturbed till he leaves. Yes, sir. What's the name of the party? Uh, Neff. Neff? Yes, Mr. T.Y. Neff. He's been here before, a fussy little old guy. Oh, yes, I remember him. The gentleman with the blood pressure. With the blood pressure. Yes, that's the man. He found out I've got hold of his Davis property, and I know he wants to do me out of it as cheap as he can. Well, this is one time I've got him where I want him. I paid $3,500 for it, and I'm going to make him pay twice that. He needs it. 
Yes, sir. I'll show him in the minute he comes. Yes, and uh, don't let us be disturbed. You take all phone calls and take messages. Uh, yes, sir. I think there's somebody in the outer office now. Well, hurry and see if it's Neff. But... Oh, what's the matter around here? Doesn't anybody work here? Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Neff. Glad to see you. I'm beginning to wonder if you'd ever see me. Making me stand around out oh, there. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Uh, that'll be all, Miss Wilson. Uh, yes, sir. I was just going. And pay attention to business out there, young woman. Uh, yes, sir. Well, glad to see you, Mr. Knapp. Sit down. You're looking very fit. I do nothing of the kind. I haven't slept for a week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. I think you know why. Me? Me? Don't go playing that innocent stuff with me. I guess you're going to tell me you didn't know I was dickering for that Davis property. Well, no, I didn't until you told me over the phone. I'll bet you didn't. Uh, no bet. Uh, have a cigar, Mr. Neff. Make it... I don't smoke. Oh, I'm sorry, but I thought where there was fire, there must be smoke. What's that? Now, cool off, Mr. Neff. After all, we can talk this over as a business proposition. I've never talked business with you, young man, and come out ahead. Ever since that time you and your wife put me into a law. Oh, my wife had nothing to do with that, Mr. Neff. She just got mixed up in it by accident. And well, she, she won't get mixed up in this. I don't mind telling you I was pretty sore when I heard you got that Davis corner. Well, I don't mind telling you I was pretty glad when I got it. Don't tell me you didn't know I was after it. Uh, all right, I won't. I thought so. Now, I suppose you think you're going to hold me up for it. Now, you're jumping at conclusions, Mr. Neff. I don't think my price is too high, uh, considering... I don't like that considering. How much? Well, considering that I know... Leave you... out the considering. How much do you want? Give you $4,000. Take it or leave it. Uh, leave it. You only paid 3500 for it. I happen to know. And you only paid it yesterday. A $500 profit on one day turnover? Oh, I don't need $500. Well, you don't need the property. Yeah, but you do. And since I don't need the money... Nonsense. Everybody needs money. You can use money. Oh, no. I'm sitting pretty well right now. Got more cash on hand than I can use. I'd just as soon leave the property lying around just like it is for a couple of years, as far as I'm concerned. How much are you asking for it? That's what I want to know. Now, take it easy now, Mr. Neff. We can talk this over. Well, that settles it. That's the last one, wasn't it, Laura? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Harris, she was the last one. Yeah, that settles it. Not one person would sign a note for me. I declare. It just goes to show, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am. But I was thinking, ma'am. What? Well, these are all ladies that we called up, ma'am. Yes, I know. Well, maybe if you call some gentlemen, ma'am. Well, I tried, gentlemen. Didn't I try Neil Williams yesterday? I thought, sure, he'd sign it for me. He goes with Marge, and Marge said she'd sign it if I got somebody else to sign it first. But he wouldn't sign it. Then I went to my brother. He wouldn't sign it. Well, I even went to Mr. Jeffrey the tailor up on the corner. I went to Mr. Harding the butcher. All of them, not a one, would sign it. I talked myself black and blue in the face, and they just stood there like a bum on a log and looked at me. It's disgusting. Friends, don't make me laugh. Oh, no, ma'am. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't think of another person in the world. The man at the loan company said to get somebody in business if I could. I can't think of anybody else in business. I never did any business, did I? Oh, no, ma'am. Except that one time I got Mr. Everett to buy Mr. Neff's lot. And even then we got sued by Mr. Neff for... Wait a minute. Mr. Neff. Who, ma'am? Mr. Neff. Well, we got to be pretty good friends, even if he did sue us. I never thought of him. He ought to sign this for me, and he's in business. Mr. Neff, look it up, Laura. Where's the phone book? Uh, here it is, ma'am. Uh, give it to me. Let me. Neff, that's an M. Oh, this is F. Oh, look, F, Friendly Loan and Finance Company. I just turned to this page and opened on Friendly Loan and Finance Company. That's where I'm going to borrow the money. If that isn't fate. Laura, that's an amen. Amen, ma'am. I just know it is. Neff, Neff. Oh, I'm so excited. Here it is. M, N, E, Neff. There's only one of them. This must be his number. Now, T-Y. He's 5522. He's 5522. Here, Laura, hold the page. Yes, ma'am. I just feel in my bones that he's going to sign it for me. E. What was it now? It's 5522. 5526. There. Isn't this exciting? There's a friend for you. There's a person who isn't afraid to sign a note when you ask him to. That's the kind of person I like. You don't hear him say he just left and grabbed a taxi. Oh, hello? Is Mr. Nass there? Oh, well, when will he be back? Oh, yes, it's very important. Oh, you will? Well, what is the number? And yes, I'll wait. He's going to give me the number where he is now. Oh, that's nice, ma'am. Yes? South 4230. Well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Goodbye, then. 
That's where he is now. I'll call him there. S O four two three O. I wonder who that is. That number sounds familiar. Did I call that number on the list, Laura? South four two three O. No, ma'am, I don't see it here. I thought I heard that number somewhere. Well, I've been calling so many numbers today. I guess I'm kind of dizzy. Maybe I just imagined. Well, now, Mr. Nabb, you're not taking this thing calmly at all. Young man, you're holding me up, that's all. I won't stand for it. Well, what's all that up to you? I'm not holding you up. I'm not insisting that you buy it. Seven thousand dollars. Hey, you must think money grows on trees. No, it may not grow on trees, but I've got plenty of it planted around where I can get it when I need it, and as it happens, I just don't need any right now. Oh, stop telling me you don't need money. Well, I don't. Uh, man, you must be out of your mind. No, I'm not. I just don't happen to need the money, that's Well, all. you stop saying you don't need the money. Oh, Mr. A. What is it, Miss Wilson? I told you I wasn't to be disturbed. Yes, I know, but there's a telephone call from Mr. Neff. For me? Where is it? Oh, I'll take it right here, Mr. Neff. Here you are. Oh. Uh, hello? Yes? Oh? Is it... Yes, I remember you. You want me to what? Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. Uh, <clears throat> would you mind coming to my office and talking to me about this? <laughs> I shall be delighted to talk to you. <laughs> well. Well, what? Why look at me like I did? So you don't need any money. What? Young man, you'll find when you do business with me, I'm not to be trifled with. Good day. But, Mr. Nabb, what do you mean? Now, I... if you want to sell that property, you'll come to me, and on my terms, too. Well, it looks as if Jane gets herself a signer, but puts Mr. Ace in a bad way with his deal. We learn more about that when next we meet the Easy Aces. <laughs>